What is up YouTube? Today we are doing part two of the homemade shifter cart. Um, so part one was all about putting the motor on, putting the gearbox on, and putting on the clutch system. So um, in this video, obviously, let's try and finish this project and possibly take it for a test drive. So um, yeah, the first thing that uh, I think that I should do is figure out how I'm going to make the clutch work. Obviously that's going to be the clutch pedal and this is a, a brake band that I stole off of a project. How I'm going to try and get this clutch to work is simply put the brake band here and when I mash on the pedal this brake band releases allowing this to slip. When I release the pedal, when I put, take my foot off the pedal it tightens up and allows this to not spin. Simple enough, but um, I have no idea how I'm going to make it work. So um, yeah, let's get started.
All right, so we got the uh, the clutch figured out. That was kind of a big deal, and uh, really wasn't sure how I was how I was going to do it, but uh, ended up figuring it out. So uh, we got that done. Now let's move on to the gas pedal, and let's figure out how in the world I'm going to do that. Okay, so now that I got the uh, the throttle hooked up, next is figuring out how in the world I'm going to put the shifter on. So I'm not really sure which side I'm going to do it on. I really want to do it on that side because that's a normal, you know, it's like a normal car. So I want to do it on that side, but I'm not sure if I can because all that is in the way. It may be easier for me to just put it on that side because it's, uh, you know, less stuff in the way. But, um, I don't know yet, so I have no idea how I'm going to do this.
Okay, so I got the gear shifter on, and uh, it's not totally done. I still want to uh, add a like a plate right here with uh, notches, and um, when I want to shift gears, I have to go like that, shifting the gear in it, and therefore it uh, goes into a notch for each gear. So just like a riding mower, you gotta you know move it out, change gears, and it slides right back into the gear so therefore you can uh it's a lot a little bit easier switching gears and therefore you know which gear you which gear you're in so you're not guessing the whole time so um still got to do that and uh i know it's a little jankety how i did it but uh it works and that's all that really counts so so yesterday i took this thing outside and i test drove it and i wanted to make because i wanted to make sure that this thing would work and um doesn't really perform the way I the way I'd hoped. Um, definitely the motor is underpowered, and it's really I didn't I didn't get out of first gear. I just stayed in first gear the whole time. But um, yeah, the motor does not have enough power to get this thing going, and yeah, I don't know. I had to floor it just so um, when I let the clutch out, the motor wouldn't die. So. That goes to show that, you know, the motor does not have enough power, and, uh, really, the clutch system works, but it's just, uh, the motor doesn't have enough power, and, you know, I don't know what else is wrong with this thing, but, um, let me take it outside, and, um, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, let's see what this thing can do.
that didn't work. Okay, so it started to work for a little bit, and then it uh, and then this sprocket started uh, spinning on this axle. I'd really like to uh, grind a keyway in this axle so I don't have to weld these sprockets onto the axle. I haven't welded them on yet. I'm just holding them on right now with these little tiny nuts that uh, I tighten these as much as possible, and then they ho they hold for a little bit, and then they just start spinning, and and I have to uh, once I'm because I still have to. Uh, finish welding all this stuff on. The motor's only being held on with four tacks. So I still have to take everything off, finish welding all this stuff, and then I can put it back on. Then I can finish, you know, welding all this stuff on here so it won't slip. But um so yeah, like I said, I do have to floor the engine just so it can accelerate without killing the motor. But um at least it accelerates. You know, at least it works. The clutch works, the motor doesn't not have enough power to get this thing going unfortunately I would love to get a bigger motor and put it on here but I don't think I have one and I don't have the funds right now to go buy one so um, I have thought about possibly putting a torque converter on here but if I did that then they would defeat the purpose of having this differential clutch so really this is this go-kart's just a uh, you know, just so, I, the only reason I really built this thing is just to see if the differential clutch would actually work or not. So, if it works, I'm happy. If the motor doesn't have enough power, so be it. Really, I'm not going to be riding this thing a lot. So, yeah, um, this is part two. Part three is going to be me hooking up the brake, um, finishing welding all this stuff, and then uh, finalizing everything, getting the tires on. Right now it's kind of being held on by uh, some small C-clamps or some uh, vice clamps. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a nice day.